Yo, hello and welcome. I'm Bad Luck and today we're gonna continue to play Dust. I hope I figured out where the um, frame rate dropping came from. Uh, my frame rate just tanks at certain positions. Anyway, we'll start out back in Aurora Village. Anyone still remember what we need to do? Oh yeah, that means they had a quest, right? Avgustin! Hello, Avgustin! Why, hello there! I'm always thrilled to see a new face, even when it's all covered up like yours. Wow, thanks. Indeed. Polite man. Well, my name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Hiya! Don't mind Mr. Grumpy. He's not big on the whole eye contact thing. I noticed it in Dust, eh? Not from around here, are you? Well, neither was I originally. But this is a nice little place, if you're not in a hurry. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Augustin, local strongman. Say, you want to arm wrestle? I'll pass. Uh... Some other time, perhaps. We're just passing through. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Thought you looked like the arm wrestling type. You know, I heard what you did back there for Oneida. Great stuff. Maybe we can help each other out? Oh, God, what do you need? Maybe. What did you have in mind? I have an old friend. A blacksmith. Lives way up at the top of Archer's Pass. But we didn't need a blacksmith. I promised I'd deliver some materials to him way back when, but haven't been up that way in ages. Area's pretty dangerous these days, if you ask me. Maybe you could deliver them for me? Tell you what, if you help me out, I'll give you this blueprint. If you give it to him along with these spare materials, he'll set you on your way right quick. Well, a seems like a good deal. Craft items from blueprints? I think I'll take you up on that, Augustine. Well, that's great! I knew I could count on you. When you see him, just tell him that old Augustine says hello. Goo, and then I blew up in his face, apparently. That's how you uh, say hello to people nowadays. You explode in his face. Jess? You? Uh, good morning. Good morning. Mm. Is it though? Though, oh, gosh. I, well, I guess. He guesses. Wonderful. Well, perhaps you can guess that I really don't want to talk such drivel right now. Go, scurry off and leave me be. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, hello. Hello. I don't believe I've seen you before. Who are you? We just came in from the West. Ah, oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about. Everyone's talking? Of course! You're the one who saved Oneida! Uh, my name is Mosca, and I am at your service. If you need anything, just let me know. Well, how friendly of him. Say, are you, uh, are you staying long? I don't know. Why do you, you ask? Well, if you ever find yourself heading east of the village, maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe? Oh, they're far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I I've been meaning to visit someone in Denham. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, it's about a girl. Uh, always about a girl with these bunnies. Well, surely she's worth the danger. Oh, she is. She definitely is. I just... I, I want to make sure she's okay. With all these monsters around, there's been no word from Denim at all. Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much! You're great! You're really, really great! I like it. If my travels take me there, I'll let her know. Meanwhile, we're gonna travel that direction. Oh, hello. You! You're perfect! Excuse me? Um, Why, thanks? thank you. Not you! Listen, oh. do you hear it? Can you hear its whispers locked within? Within the box. My box. I don't hear anything. Well, of course you don't. My box has been lost. Somebody must have stolen it. Perhaps it was that Mosca fellow. He's always averting his gaze from me. Like he's hiding something. Probably his distaste for your nuttiness. 
I can hear its whispers coming from below. Down, deep down in the earth. If you're ever down there, please, you must find my box and return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. Okay, Reed. If I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back. How oh, nice. Everyone's so nutty. Hi there. Hello. Well, hello. Well, hello. Well, hello. Uh. Yeah, my thoughts exactly, Dust. Mm. You're a quiet one. Dust, manners. You'll have to excuse him. He's a bit worn out, saving the village and everything, you know? Yes, I heard something about that. Not easily impressed. Ah, yes. Well, good. Honestly, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming back. Oh. I... And there's nothing we can do about it. Excuse me. Well, um... Hmm. Well, Ginger. Dang. You, uh... Dang. All right. Now, we know there's a part down here. Have a... Have a... Open. Oh, this again. Box. Nice, though. But there's, there's a part below this. How do I get there? Can I stand on the houses? No, I can't. Hey. Always a pleasure to see you guys. Oh. I wanted to ask him about the box. If he knows what's in the box. I need to find out what's in the box. Wait. Nope. What? Oh, hey, map. Explorer actually can... Inventory. I can do that on. I have a ring. A smooth ring. A warped pendant. Oh, I already wear the smooth ring. Yay, armor! And I have cupcakes. <laughs> Yay! Bye, Ginger, you little... Seriously, what's wrong with her? She's a cheerful one, huh? Yeah, yeah. You can say that again. Gratitude might have been nice. What kind of a bratty... Hey, ease off, Dust. She looked like she was pretty depressed. I... I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, Fidget. I... I don't know what came over me just then. Come on, let's keep moving. Ooh, maybe it's part of former dust. Former dust. Hmm. Sounds weird. What? What is it, Fidget? There's a person stuck in a well. Let's move it. Hey, wait. Ah, our famed savior. I had hoped you'd come. Welcome to my humble shop. Hello. Wait, I have one of these. I have all the better items. Let's take one of those. A ring for luck. Thank you for coming in. I can almost guarantee your satisfaction. Almost. Thank you, mate. I want to put on my dirty ring. Look. Yay. Wait, we have another point here. Um, I've also boosted up my health a little bit. Uh, let, let's boost up the fence a little bit. Because, well, we're always getting hit. Okay. Going up. Oh, Colleen. Hi. Oh, hi. You're new. Are you travelers? Yes. Maybe you can help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. Oh, no. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. 
I really don't like that guy. Don't worry. <laughs> Me neither. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. No. Oh. Oh. Sorry about that. I um, I needed to blow up in your face, apparently. Hup, 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 hup. Yeah. Did we just... Well, apparently, now we have one and everything. We are the greatest... Yes, the greatest dust. Hup. Let's go to Mr. Gianni. Hmm. You're not uh, him. Come on, where's Mr. Gianni? Oh, if he touched you! Gianni, I want to ask you about a boy named Corbin. Ah, have you seen him? Where has that foolish boy run off to? I was hoping you could tell me. He must still be wasting time in Ivydale Glen. I just knew I shouldn't have trusted that boy with cleaning my fabrics. Corbin is doing your laundry outside the village? I do not see why this is so difficult to comprehend. But then I suppose you don't have the capacity for rational thought. If you are so concerned, maybe you should go look for him instead of waffling about. Oh, I'll find him. Then we're going to have a little chat. Oh, I don't like that man. Who's it? In the middle of like every attacker possible to mankind. Let's go send a kid out to do our laundry. Here, wash my jock straps. <gasps> Why? So oh, I don't like that, man. Oh, no, sirree, Billy. I do not like that, man. Oh, going down. Wait, there's something here. Hey, save point. Let us save. I note at it. Thing, some kind of cage, whatever it is, making fun of the record. Words that sound like fat and beats. Aurora, I found the keys needed. To jump as far to the right as I can. Well, that's handy. Box, that's what it is. It's a box. You can't open it. Don't look at the box. Don't open the box. You can look at the box. What? That's it. Only it helps you bring it back. Found a hole near storage. Wait. All right then. This is down so the chest ran five, maybe six from arm to the teeth, causing a cut. Wow. Oh, hello, bunnies. Hop. 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 Oh, hello. Wow, you're a big guy. Good day. I'm Mayor Bram. So, you're the hero I've been hearing about. Yes. It's nothing, really. We're just passing through. No need to be modest, my friend. We can't thank you enough for your help. Things have been rough in Aurora of late, so having a true hero in our midst is really boosting morale. So, what's your name, son? We need a hero! Dust. Dust. My name is Dust. And some of the villagers I've met, they don't seem quite as pleased as you. Ah, are you talking about the Watchmen? You must understand, hardly a day goes by without some monstrosity attacking our peaceful village. They were simply being cautious. Take my word. I'm sure they meant no ill will. And there was also this girl. Yes, that could only be Ginger. She can be a bit of a handful, but don't pass judgment on her like that. You have no idea what she's gone through this past year. She looked pretty upset about something. Maybe we should have asked. Don't concern yourself. We have other matters to discuss. Oh? What help could I possibly provide? A few giants in a field seem like the least of your problems. Yet again with the modesty. You're no mere travelers, that much I've gathered. Mineral merchants don't wield blades as impressive as yours, Dust. Please, 
We really could use the help. All right. I don't know. I'm searching for something myself. Then perhaps we can help each other. If you help our village, I promise I'll do whatever I can to help you. But I can be of no assistance while our village is constantly attacked by these creatures. We suspect their leader is close by, and if you could... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. You're saying those mindless thugs have a leader? Well, yes, Fidget. Everything has Until a leader. Until recently, they would attack us in small groups. Nothing we couldn't handle. Now, they coordinate attacks on a much larger scale, hitting the village on both sides, driving our forces apart. I assure you, whatever leads these things is experienced in warfare. What do they want? Our land, I imagine. Why? It's just a casual observation, but they don't seem the farming type. Well, whatever it is, it's become a serious problem. If you truly are as capable as I hear... You want us to find their leader? It certainly would cripple their advance. You'd be doing the entire village a great service. How about it, Dusk? Do Goga message me at this point? Shut up. Well, I... You feel a conflict of emotions. This is good. I will abide by your decision, Master. I trust you to take the right path. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, hmm. You, you shouldn't be so trustworthy, Ara. Helping this village is the right thing to do. But it's more than that. It's almost like... Like I know these people. Like I have to help them. I think that strange feeling you've got is a little foreign concept called compassion. I'm proud of you, Dusk. Of course, if you said no, I need to bite your face off. Charming as always, Fidget. I think you've made a wise decision. Of course you do. You're a sword. All right, Mayor Bram. You've convinced us. We'll do what we can to help stop these attacks. <laughs> That's my boy. The Watchmen reported increased monster activity to the east of our village. So I imagine that's where you should go. But do be careful. Strong as you may be, I've seen many fine warriors lose their lives to these monstrosities. I understand, Mayor. I'll be careful. And I'll be back. Yes. Because we need a hero. Oh, hello. Hey, you're the outsider. Yep. Yeah, that's me. That's great. So you must know your way around out there. Maybe you could do me a favor. Oh, God, what? Depends on the favor. What is it you need? Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fail, and I'm in charge of keeping our guards well equipped. Oh, well, you're doing a lousy job. They're running amok with spears. Oh, so therefore equipment is pretty much your fault. Thank you, Fidget. <laughs> in so many words, yes. It's not like I enjoy giving them subpar equipment. If I had better materials, I could make better gear. Tell you what, if you could bring me five imp hides, I would gladly buy them off you for more than the shop will offer. Here are those materials you asked for, Fail. That was fast. Great. Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. I'd like to upgrade our weapons. Beast spears, while primitive, have finely chiseled stone tips that we can use for arrowheads. If you could bring me eight beast spears, I'll buy them for a high price. Please, let me know. I'll keep my eyes open. All right. Much appreciated. I'll be All waiting the way right, right here. Quest complete. We've actually completed the quest. All right. Um. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I want to find Corbin first. Uh, welcome to the station. Oh, ha! Uh, welcome to the materials. Materials. Oh, ha! Okay. Quests. What's in the box? The new venture materials. Merchant and Then Corbin to Ivydale Glen. Okay. That's where we need to go. Oh my, he really should have saved first. Blobs, deadly creatures, keep your distance. They will detonate yeah. if you get too close, but are vulnerable when taking a deep breath. Perfect for a ranged attack. Let me at him. 
Well, <laughs> actually a good thing this time then that we uh, given her so much attack power. Yeah. Oh. Let us save some more. Um, there are a lot of the buggers. Was that me? That was me, wasn't it? i sorry. Dang. Uh, alright. Bombs are bad. Alright. Wait. We can't go through there. Um, we can. Oh, phew. I thought I was stuck for a moment. Oh. Oh, hello. Watch your head. Oh, it seems I can't actually. Come on, whoop, nope. Ow. Oh, oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Uh. Easy, easy, easy. Oh. Well, the frame rate is a bit better. It's not everything, though. But we'll work with it. Alright guys. As long as you guys still like seeing dust, I'll work with it. Besides, it gives me something to blame my inadequacy on. Yeah. Wait, no, stuff! Wait! Hey, are you here to help me? Please tell me you're here to help me! Depends, are you Corbin? Let me guess, you're Corbin? You know your sister's been looking everywhere for you. I had to hide in here with all those monsters around. Well, they're all gone, so you should be safe now. Are you hurt? Do you need help getting back home? I'm okay, I think. I know how to get home by myself. I come here lots, but there were never any monsters. You'd better go while it's clear out there. I still need to get Mr. Johnny's laundry. I dropped it down there, and I don't want to get in trouble. No, Corbin. You go home. I'll take care of it. Oh, wow, thanks. Here, take this. You'll need it if you go down there. A white residence gem. That should come in handy. Thank you. Wow. Now, go on. Hurry back to town. All that stuff on the monster show, they're probably not. We're going after that jerk's laundry? We're going on a laundry quest? Yes. I wouldn't want Gianni blaming that poor kid for what's happened. Come on, we'll kill some monsters on the way. It'll be great. What about all the stuff? Oh, oh, luckily. Oh, it's still here. Yay! All right. <laughs> oh. Ow. I can save here? Yeah, hey, I can save here. Yay! Save as many times as you can. Fruit. Fidget, is something wrong? <coughs> She's been silenced, Dust. While in this state, oh. she would be unable to cast her projectiles. Fortunately, the effect is only temporary and will fade over time. You mean Fidget can't talk now? At all? That's terrible. Really awful. Not sure how I'll get by. I 
the one to go up there. Oh, uh... Well, here's where Corbin drops the basket. Might as well return it for him. Do mine eyes deceive me? Or did he accidentally oh, no. commit a poison ivy bush? Fidget, what's going on in that twisted little brain of yours? Nothing, nothing. I'm just saying, wouldn't it be a shame if some poison ivy fell into his basket? Oh. You know, completely by accident. We shouldn't. You know, not. We really shouldn't. You are positively evil, Fidget. But... Yes! Uh, I will rain a retribution! Feel that meanie not to push poor little kids around. You said it. But remember, if we get caught, I'm going to blame you. Fine, whatever. With pleasure. That meanie. It's just lucky I don't foreclose on his face. What? You know, it's like he didn't pay the mortgage on his face. Then I bite it off. For clothes. Okay, never mind. What's with you on biting faces? Did we die? We died, didn't we? Yeah, we died. Luckily, we also saved. Wait, do we have to do that again then? <laughs> There, alright. Sorry about that. We're back. Come on, get out of your silent state. There we go. Whew. All right. Fidget is no longer silenced. We're still very hurt. Nom, 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 nom. Those flying beasties are a pain in the tuckers. And we got a mysterious wall chicken. No. Wait, what? What? Dang. Oh. Oh, that's what the white little stone does. Well, everything seems to be blowing up. Oh. We're good. We're okay. Nobody panic. I'm just blowing stuff up. Yeah, more wall chickens. Mmm, no, 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 no. Alright. Let's get back to town and give laundry to that Mr. Johnny. Because we like him so much! Hi, bunny. How can you ever stay angry in like a game like this? Cause look, wait. You really ought to be better equipped in case anything... Nonsense. I crafted this spear myself. Yes, it's very nice. All right, that's enough. Why don't you two leave me alone now? I actually kind of like his spear. A little twirly bit in the end. <laughs> At the knob. Where's Johnny? All right, Gianni, let's talk. Would you mind telling me why you have a child running errands outside the village with monsters around? Well, I certainly can't be running around outside myself. Those monsters, they are dangerous. So, where is that Corbin brat? He's lucky I'm the patient type, and I didn't report his laundry thievery to the guards. What? Oh, he deserved well, it. after rescuing him, we sent him back to the village. 
Rescuing him, you say? Is he all right? Yes, he'll be fine. A bit shaken up, but... Fine, fine. And uh, what of my laundry? Surely, after all that time he spent out there, it must be clean what? by now. Oh. Yeah, Gianni, here. Take your laundry. But you're never going to ask Corbin to leave the village again. Do you understand? Oh. Um, ha, well, when you put it so threateningly, I suppose I have little choice in the matter. Good. For your sake, you should hope we don't have to talk again. Believe me, I will avoid it if I can help it. You know what? I kinda hate this guy. And I would just love to maul his face off. Manners, Fidget. It's what separates us from the animals. Manners. It separates us from the animals. I speaketh to Fidget, whereas we just poison ivy his uh, jockstrap. Oh, that's gonna leave a nasty rash. I mean, oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's gonna have a very rosary knob. Mm. I mean, for his testes, he doesn't have to worry. Because when I listen to him, it seems he doesn't have a pair. Hi, Corbin. Oh, hello again. Thank you so much for helping me before. You're Bro. welcome, Corbin. And just be a little smarter next time, all right? It's too dangerous out there for a kid like you. And don't worry about Gianni. I'll sort him out. Yeah, like the laundry. <sighs> yes, Fidget. Like uh, the laundry. Yes, Fidget. Okay, okay. Thanks again. You know, you're a pretty good fighter. Oh, well, well, thank you, thank you. And I told did not die in the caves. Well, I... You're so strong? I'll bet you'd have no problem getting a 1,000 hit combo. Squeeze me. Of course he wouldn't. He could do it in his sleep. Sleep combo. Fidgets, calm down. Excuse me. Whoa. Do you really think you could do it? Excuse me. No. No, I don't. I don't even think I can keep a regular combo up. I get hit, like, a lot. A 1,000 hit combo? Sure, why not? No! What are you doing? Has your brain gotten dark with your hat or something? Oh, wow, awesome! Hey, when you hit for the 1,000th time, you should say, This one's for Corbin! Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. But I'll try to get the combo just for you. Oh. Why? <laughs> No, not a safe. Oh, that mission. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this one here. We've met now the town people. What do you think like of the game? If you really like to see more of this, even though it's a bit laggy and I apologize for that, then let me know in the comments down below, all right? But for now, thank you so much for watching uh, me. And I hope you will all join me in the next time. Goodbye.